Welcome back to Desert Smoke Reviews. This is Justin. What? And Monty. Tonight we're taking a look at the St. Louis Ray Gen 2. Uh, it's a beautiful looking cigar coming in with a, like a medium brown wrapper. I've got a couple little stretch marks along the seam, but I don't think they'll be a problem. My main issue is I have one area where the wrapper's starting to pull away, but it's not the cigar's fault. It's my fault when I was messing around with it, but I think it'll burn right through. Other than that, looks construction's real good. Nice firm pack, not too firm for me. The aroma, honestly, I don't get a lot off the wrapper. It's nice tobacco and maybe a bit of earth, but not really a whole lot. Nothing really prevalent. And then off the foot, about the same. Very kind of a fresh, clean smelling cigar. I don't get a lot off, but I, I could be wrong. What? Uh, yeah, I really mucked up the cut on, on this cigar, so hopefully it'll uh, do all right if I keep the bands on it for as long as I can. But it's a beautiful looking stick, uh, really smooth. Um, there's one really predominant vein. It doesn't look like I have that same wrapper problem that Justin has, but yeah, you know, the aromas, for me, there's just not a lot there. There's a, not much on the wrapper and then on the foot. Uh, maybe just some regular tobacco cigar type of smells, but nothing real particular. Uh, yeah, mine's really nice, really super smooth wrapper. Seams look really well done. Um, no soft spots. Actually, it's it's pretty firm. It's walking that that line between firm and hard. But uh, it's a really pretty looking cigar. Nice medium brown wrapper. A um, couple of minor stems, but nothing to worry about. As far as aroma, it's there's almost just like a I don't know, like a dustiness to the wrapper to me. Um, not in a bad way, but you know, just nice dusty. And then off the foot, just generally some earthiness, some tobacco, maybe a little bit of sweet notes, but nothing real strong, nothing that really stands out. So. Let's get it cut up, lit up, see how it goes. Bit of a tight draw to start with. That's yeah. Sure. I think it'll be manageable for me, but definitely on the firmer side. A lot of woodsiness in there for me. Um, yeah, like almost like a spicy cedar. I mean, it's more of like a pine. Yeah. I don't yeah. know anything about wood, but yeah, I was gonna say. I, I, you I know what though? I'd agree with him though. It's maybe. not a cedar. It's it's more of almost like a like a dry pine. Yeah, really. It's not, I mean, it's not bad, but it's just... I have a little bit of spikes in this, too, as well. I'll just say a woodiness. A nice woodsy note. Since I'm the odd man, I don't like the type of wood flavor. I get some wood flavor. But I get a little bit of pepper in the wood. Yeah, pepper. Yeah, sure. I kind of... I'm not my connoisseur of wood, so I... You know, but I do get a nice woodsy flavor. I thought that's exactly what she did. What possessed you making I know my woods? I'm just happy to be here. I think we're getting too much about wood. Oh, I say fine. He says fine. I say cedar. Oh, maybe a knife. We shall nice see. African, what is it? Massive bar on the side. See, you know your wood I get a nice plywood. <laughs> a nice board. particle board. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Soggy particle board after a good rain. Well, let's get into the first third. See how that particle board develops. Welcome back. We're about 10 minutes into this San Luis Ray Gen 2. And flavors for me are uh, kind of, I should say, mild off for me. That isn't the right word, but I couldn't think of the right word. Mellowed out. Mellowed out. Mellowed out. There we go. Um, the, the pepper is almost kind of gone. That nice woodsiness or particle board, whatever your flavor is, it's kind of 
mellowed out. I'm, I'm getting a nice, you know, medium to mild tobacco flavor in the finish. That finish isn't super long, but it's not really short either. It's just a standard finish. Kind of simple flavors, but decent. Uh, kind of like a mild to medium in body and about the same in strength. Uh, the burn, no issues. It's been going really well. Ash is holding on. Draws a little tight, but manageable. The problem is, I think it's been overpacked because I'm getting pop after pop after pop, and I've had the wrapper crack just a hairline crack right below the the second band. But I'm hoping hoping it won't be too much of an issue. But I'm a little bit worried about it as we go through the cigar. This consistent popping I'm getting as I smoke it. Why? I haven't gotten any pop, uh, any pops, but I totally agree with Justin. I think the cigar was overpacked, um, and I think the wrapper might be a little thin for the cigar. Um, like I said earlier, when I when I messed up the cut, I mean, man, it's just been a big chunk of wrapper, big chunk of wrapper falling off this this top area here, and there's a pretty sizable portion that's still hanging on, but um, no way I'm going to take this rat or this band off until I absolutely have to. Uh, flavors are good, but the finish is pretty short for me. Um, you know, it pairs well with a cup of coffee because I think I think the overall finish is coffee, but I'm not really getting much because it was clean pretty quick. Yeah, I think we all pretty much have carbon copies. <coughs> um, I think what Ryan what, what Ryan what Wyatt said is really appropriate. I think the band where the bless it, I'm sorry. The wrapper is too thin for this cigar, and when it's coupled with a really firmly packed cigar, probably two pack, um, like the wrapper, but not, uh, it's just it's it's blown up. I've got three huge blowouts on mine already between the band and where you see the ash. You may not be able to see it, but the ash is super firm. The burn is really great, um, but like Wyatt said, the the bands have to stay on, or I think these cigars are pretty much going to explode. Um, Finish is short, like Justin was saying. Um, just some, not not a lot of distinct flavors really. Just some nice tobacco flavor to it. It's it's mild to medium, but uh, I think this one may end up blowing up on us. Well, let's get into the second third approach to midpoint. See how it goes. Welcome back. We're about halfway on this. How are we smoking? Saint Louis Ray. Saint Louis Ray Gen Two. <laughs> I pulled a Wyatt. I pulled it out. But uh, yeah, it's <laughs> kind of still mild to medium in body, mild to medium in strength. I, I actually kind of forgot about the cigar. It's kind of keeping definitely par for the course. Have had no flavor changes from the first update. I mean, it's just kind of keeping keeping par. Um, two of those cracks are now burning through them. We'll see how it goes. Um, I have taken the bands off, and, and everything seems to be holding together pretty good. I've just got, like I said, that one little crack that is burning through. And hopefully that will that'll hold together. But just kind of a, I don't want to say blah, but it is kind of a blah cigar. Nothing really screaming wow to me. It's kind of a bit forgettable. Yeah, I'd have to rank this as a golf stick so <clears> far. <throat> um, it's not bad, but there really isn't any discernible uh, flavor that I can that I can put to the smoke. The finish is always gone really quick. Um, might be a little bit dark for a gold cigar, but at, at the same time, if you're only going to smoke one, this could very well be it. Um, yeah, I've had, you know, just construction issue after construction issue with the with the, the packing on this cigar, and, you know, it's getting kind of spongy, and it's got one of those burns that will puff and puff and puff and puff, and, and it just doesn't look like anything's burning. And there's, it's not tunneling. I can see that it's not tunneling, but it just doesn't look like anything's burning. And it hasn't gone out either, but there's very little smoke coming out. So um, I don't know. Yeah, I'm not. It's not that I'm not enjoying it, but there's just not the, that much there to enjoy. Uh, it, it's nothing really great or stand out at all. But uh, I think why it's right. I think if you're, if you're used to a, a medium body dark cigar, I think this would be fine as a golf cigar. Um, like Wyatt was, or Justin was saying with his, mine is burning through those bad spots, those cracks and blowouts. And surprisingly, the ash is, is really nice on this cigar, but again, it's because there's so much tobacco probably packed in there that you're going to have a good ash. But the finish is really short for me. There's no standout flavors, you know, nothing really that keeps your attention. We've been sitting here chatting and just puffing away, but 
I don't really remember if this cigar was great or bad or anything. It's just real middle of the road so far. Let's get in the final third, see if we get anything. Welcome back. We're at the final third of the St. Louis Ray Gen 2. I remember the this one. Again, no real flavor changes. Par for the course. A nice, you know, woodsy flavor, some mild tobacco, yeah, mild to medium tobacco flavors. But nothing really popping out saying wow to me. It's very mild to medium in body, mild to medium in strength. Burn has always been really good, except for a couple of touch-ups here and there, and they would have fixed themselves and just kind of got antsy. Ash always held on well. The draw was a little firm, but uh, manageable. Those two cracks in the wrapper burned right through. So performance-wise, the cigar performed really well for being overpacked, in my opinion. It, the downfall is the flavors. I don't think there's anything remarkable about this cigar. It's very forgettable. But like Monty mentioned, if you don't mind a little bit of a heavier cigar, this would be a great uh, golf cigar or a mid-afternoon where you just really want to smoke but you're not really particular about it. It's a great task cigar. But all in all, it's, it it's, has no wow factor. It's, it's a bad cigar to end your night, and that's what we're doing. So it leaves you a bit disappointed. If I was going to rate it, I'd give it a six and a half. It's decent cigar, it, it performed well for being overpacked, flavors are there, they're not real potent, but they're not, you know, they're not disgusting, it's something, that, it burns and it produces smoke, so there, that's where I sit. Yeah, basically I, I reiterate, um, I did make an executive decision, I guess, um, I had a whole bunch of the top part of the cigar here that was just going nowhere, so I sliced it off, uh, and that actually really opened up the draw for me, so. Well, maybe if I decided to do that a lot earlier on in this cigar, I might have liked it more. But I just had a construction problem after construction problem. And, you know, it's like we said, if you're running around on the on the, uh, on the golf course or you've got something going on and you're driving or something, um, this would be a good cigar that, you know, if a little bit of tobacco comes off, you just flick it off and it doesn't really matter. But we are ending our, ending our day with this cigar, and this isn't a good cigar to do that with. Um, it's not a bad cigar overall, but, I mean... I can't think of any particular remarkable flavor that I got off this cigar that I would say, well, this cigar tastes like, you know, blank. Um, to me, this is a great golf stick. I take it out on the golf course. Um, I prefer a little bit heavier stick on the on the golf course, and this would be perfect for that. Um, yeah, I'd agree with six and a half. Nothing exceptional, but, a, but definitely a, an exceptional test. Again, I think we're all on the same page. I feel pretty much the same as Justin and White did here. Um, one thing I was kind of happy to see, I was concerned about when I took those bands off, is there was already a couple of, for lack of a better term, blowouts in the first half of the cigar, but I've had none of that since I got past the halfway. It's burned really well. I touched up a little bit, just more or less because I was messing around with the lighter. But the, the burn's been really nice. The ash has been really firm. No more blowouts. Um, it draws a little better. It's still fairly firm, uh, fairly tight. But again, it's just not a great cigar. You know, if this cigar fell out of my hand right now on the ground, I wouldn't feel like I lost anything. Um, and I would go up to six and a half. It's just a real average to maybe slightly below average cigar. Well, in conclusion, if you like our videos, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe. We'd greatly appreciate it. And until next time, smoke them if you got them.